a lot of you may have been wondering if I had shut this channel down, if I completely abandoned this channel, if I'm not really sure what you possibly may have thought. Um, it's been a lot going on, and I feel that in order for me to continue with this channel, I should disclose some information. I'm a real private person, and apparently it's been too private, so I guess I'll just divulge some, some things that I feel are detrimental. I've omitted some stuff, some major details from my life, and it's blown back in my face, and things are not great. I'm not going to post a front like I am. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on. I won't get into great detail, but I will explain. Uh, I posted a video uh, last October. Since I have deleted that video, and um, in the video, I discussed that I wanted to like have this huge surprise. I planned on going to Art Basel in Miami. Uh, if you don't know what Art Basel is, please look it up. Uh, if you're an artist of any medium, I think it's extremely beneficial. Uh, networking for inspiration for just a plethora of reasons. But that's a rabbit hole of digression. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explore tonight. I had planned to do this great big trip down there. Well, not great and big trip, but I planned on doing a trip, and and I was really amped up about the YouTube channel and and wanted to do all this fun stuff. You know, like you know some of my friends and you know go down there and, and try to make my name down there or, or at least uh, somehow finagle a way to perform down there and in and, and some form or fashion. All the while, uh, in this video, I said that uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, and that was a huge lie. Uh, I was engaged. Um, I say was, because obviously I'm, I'm not anymore. Uh, I got engaged uh, just before Labor Day last year, 2018. A woman that I was very much in love with. I allowed myself to... I allowed myself to be clouded by my own ignorance. You know, I'm I'm learning that I'm not great with relationships and primarily because I suck at communication. I hate talking about how I feel. She called me on that. And she wasn't happy at all, and I don't expect anyone to be happy about, you know, your future husband, your future spouse, going on a worldwide website video saying that due to unforeseen circumstances. I was more referring to uh, financial circumstances, but truth be told, I was supposed to be saving up for a wedding, and I didn't. I didn't save as I should have been because I was trying to split the difference between a trip and a wedding. All in all, um, that's just a small fraction. Uh, it wasn't because of the trip that this relationship ended. 
el to round it all up it's my fault my communication has been trash my uh, overthinking has been completely blurring the focus of a multitude of things when it came to that relationship. I don't know. I don't know if it's even possible to reconcile. We've been broken up for several months. And rightfully so. I don't expect her to talk to me at all about anything. Uh, I won't I won't divulge her, her name or personal information, but possibly the hardest lesson I've ever had to learn. Um Since this breakup, I've been in therapy. Uh, I've learned a lot about myself in therapy. I've had very long conversations with friends who are married, divorced, separated, uh, newlyweds, um, long-term relationships. I have had conversations with my pastor, with uh, very close family members of mine. I, I even bought a Bible and started reading scripture. I've, this video is not a, a woe is me, pity me, oh poor Jerome. This is me being blunt and honest with you. So, I apologize to all of you who expect to see uh, the creative side of me, to see these amazing videos and, and witty clips and video editing and, and visual effects and such to help you escape or learn something or just just experience something new and different and creative and thought provoking and whatever other else whatever other adjective I can add I'd love to, to be happy and, and you know just like not be making a video where, where I may have lost your trust as well along with the trust of my ex-fiance. So, uh, if you decide to stick around, if you decide to continue to, uh, if you decide to continue to uh, stay subscribed, that would be dope. If not, hey, we're all adults, right? Well, if you are over 18. Uh, yeah. I'm not going to talk about what I have planned in the future anymore. I'm just going to push out, uh, content. Uh, hopefully stay consistent. The good news is I, uh, started a new job. The bad news is I don't have health insurance, so I had to stop going to therapy. Uh, if you haven't seen uh, my last video, I was still in therapy uh, around the 4th of July, but I had a really scary experience, which is great that I had the option to go to therapy at the time. Now I... Uh, check in the mailbox every, every time I uh, get home, hoping that my insurance card is in the mail. I apologize to all of you for 
not being blunt and honest and open, I was afraid to engage, pun not intended, with my engagement because it was so surreal and not just surreal but I didn't know how to handle all of it maturely I have to own my own shit I have to own all of this this is all on me I'm responsible for not posting I'm responsible for a failed engagement I'm responsible for every action I've taken to leave me renting a room from two very good friends of mine who just bought a house. I'm sleeping on an air mattress in a small room. Yeah. The self-realization that where I came from to where I am. It's, it's polarizing. And it's, it's pretty fucking heartbreaking. For me to realize I did this to myself. I wasn't completely honest with you guys. I wasn't letting you completely into my life. I felt that I needed some privacy when in reality, I was hiding the woman that I loved because I was afraid. I hope you can forget. I hope you all can find it in your hearts to forgive me. Accept my apology. But if not, I broke your trust, so. It's not the first time, but definitely not going to let this happen again. Alright. See you guys in the next one.